Let's move on. Let's talk about financial goals as a couple. Mm -hmm. That's a topic that we're going to discuss right now. So you're married, you're single, you're complicated. Uh, you know, shared bank accounts, splitting expenses, mm -hmm. allowances, splitting of the bills. Um, how do you process what's going on here with everything we're discussing about allowances? I've been in relationships where I've given girls, quote unquote, allowances, right? They were some of them were working for me, girlfriends at the time need you to get to work. On top of that, I know how uh, costly it is to be a woman, mm -hmm. hair, makeup, nails, you know, tanning, this, that, the other clothes. I get it. So for me, I was giving a girl a couple grand a month just to like do you, baby. When you hear this, what have you done and what are you willing to do for the right woman? I mean, in my situation, it's always been a case of, look, anytime she's around me, I pay for everything. I'm yeah. not going not to let you pay yeah. for like a taxi. I'm not going to let you pay for, for, for dinners, dinner, drinks, God, Ubers, no, movies, basic no stuff. No chance. Yeah, basic stuff. So all the, when she's around me, it's all paid, by, paid for by me. Um, if I want to fly her in, if I'm, if I'm on business somewhere and I'm like, she's a few countries away or whatever, okay, come. Yeah. Like, I'll pay for that shit. Like, take the weekend off, come over. But obviously, I'm not at that sort of stage yet, but if I had a, had a child with said lady, right? Mm -hmm. Then that's a case of like, okay, I'm, everything's covered. Don't worry about it. Like, I, I take I care of it. This. I take care of it all, right? Man being the provider. Yeah, exactly. But it, and it's, and it would be a situation where I'd give them, a, you know, an allowance, like, but it wouldn't be outrageous. It would be within reason. I'm not a sucker. What's a, <laughs> right? What would you say but is not, not an outrageous sucker. number and is, okay, and okay. is acceptable? Wow. For, for example, if hypothetically, if I had a lady who lived in Eastern Europe who was having my child, yeah. I would say, okay, well, I'd, I'd look at the census and be like, how much does it cost to like raise a kid in this country? Hmm. All right, well, let's twenty dollars a year. Like, it ain't, it ain't gonna, <laughs> okay, you're not, cheap, you're not gonna bro. you're not gonna me for like a grand if it cost you if it cost you five dollars a week to feed the baby. Gotcha. Like, you know, you're not gonna you're going, me. You're automatically going to Eastern Europe. Why? Not automatically. Because you would only have a kid with a girl not out there. Because no, there's a modern American woman that lives in LA. No, that don't do it. Don't do it. I think it depends on the person. Whenever everyone's speaking, nobody speak. Let's let Sterling do his thing, and I'll come to you. I would I would be against the idea of having a child in America. Really? Yeah. Mm. Is it because you're Australian? Is it because you're Mr. Uh, International Worldwide? It's, it's, it's because you've been girled on seven continents? Or is it because there's something about women in the West that are just not what you're looking for? It's not even the women. It's the legal system here. Ah, gotcha. The court it's, system. it's just the laws here. Gotcha. I think they take it. I think they're... they're Number one, they, the court system. In, the incentives are wrong and they in, they're designed... They're, they're incentivized wrongly yeah. to, to try and... I, I mean... <laughs> to try and make the women break up with the dude and yeah. like take money and get child support, right? Mm -hmm. I would much rather a situation where the, the, the government is not involved at all. Right. Like, okay, like, mm -hmm. for example, for example, I would happily get married in a church mm -hmm. and keep it a purely religious right. ceremony. The yeah. government has no yeah. involvement yeah. in it whatsoever. No signing papers, no Just nothing. me, you, and a priest. Right. Cool, mm -hmm. done. No, I'm not. I'm not signing a paper or anything. Nothing. You know, because then, then, the then the involved, then the government gets involved. Then the government gets involved, right? Are you getting a prenup signed? Well, if, if there's, no again, in the USA, you get, either way you get screwed. Even if you have a, like, you can, no you'll papers. still end up paying child support even if you're not married, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get screwed mm -hmm. over either child way. Child support, I think you're totally okay with. You want to pay for the kid regardless. Yeah, but I don't want It's paying okay, up for but, a woman his, that divorced you and there's no kids and you're still well, paying for That her. too, but here's my argument against, like, I, maybe it's an idealistic one, but I should w want to take care of my kid. Of course. And I, I would, right? right. It's a no That's brainer. the whole point. It's, it, to me, it's a no-brainer. Right. I shouldn't have to have a government put a gun to my head and force me to pay for my child. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's what I have a problem with, Yeah. right? I'm going to take care of the kid no matter what, but I don't like the idea of big daddy government <laughs> putting a gun to my head and saying, pay this or you're going to jail. Yeah, it's choice versus yeah. force. Nobody likes that. Yeah. Get back on the subject of... Splitting expenses, paying bills, you know, you're, you're balling out with a $100 weekly allowance, <laughs> gang gang. I am though. Uh, how does it work in your house and what do you recommend for most couples to work? I mean, oh goodness, you have to talk about this stuff yourselves. I have just found that it's harder to have the finances separate than they are together. But I have, your average marriage, well, 
women are not marrying average men, but you know, for the folks that are married, um, a lot of husbands don't trust their wives with the money because they, if they were to put them together, the woman would overspend. Mm -hmm. Whereas I don't really think that's a concern in my, in my situation. It's just, if I can't see how much money is in the pot, then I can't accurately spend the money. Cause I'm not like a minimal spender. I'm like, what's my limit? Okay. We're going to, Oh, it's a hundred, but 99, dollars and 99 cents. That's where we're at. So, I found that it's easier to just have them joint, have that separate card just prepaid. And my husband kind of does most of the most of the finances. I do make supplemental income, and I would say that that's where the utilities come from. But my husband is paying the bulk of it, you know, mortgage, home insurance, mm -hmm. taxes, things like that. You, you said, uh, you know, there's this concept of like the man making the, mo the money, the woman kind of being the bookkeeper, keeping track of the money. Mm -hmm. I'm not very comfortable with that. So, you know, like, in relationships, with especially with sex, uh, the men are the gas, the women are the brakes. Mm -hmm. We've heard that before. The men want to go, 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 you know, sex. Women are like, not so fast, not so fast, not so fast. With money, it's a little bit different, okay? The men kind of have to be the brakes, mm -hmm. where the women want to go on trips, they want to spend, they want to get mm -hmm. this, they want to shop, they want to get makeup, mm -hmm. where men are like, uh, not so fast, honey. Mm -hmm. So this gas brakes analogy, uh -huh. I think, is a little bit of a different metaphor when it comes to yeah. the spending of the money. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Western women, that's American women, because there's Eastern cultures where the man makes the money and the women just manage it, but they manage it well. So that's just a problem that we have here with consumerism. Yeah. I mean, women own majority of, what is it, credit card, consumer debt, and then the student loan debt. So that's our problem with insatiable women, because, uh, you know, <laughs> passport yeah. bros, y'all are up. Yes, these <laughs> Eastern women get it, so. Yeah, I don't know if, like, I work in finance, I'm, I'm a money guy, I don't know how comfortable I would be turning over the bank account, the millions, the whatever, to be like, hey, you're a gorgeous, hot, young girl, now you're my it fucking accountant. I don't know no, if that sits those, well with You me. are not getting yeah. those login details. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. So... How are you processing that? You'll pay for the bills, yeah. but she ain't getting access to your you're accounts, not get, you're right? Not getting access to my bank account for a start. Right. <laughs> that ain't happening. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Like it's so. That's yeah. To me, that's just common sense. Like, I, like the idea of okay, we have a joint account, or I, I, I fund an account that you have access to, whatever. Like you said, to put the brakes on things occasionally. Mm -hmm. Oddly, ironically enough, my in, with my parents, it was actually the, the other way around. Hmm. My and my dad said this. He said my dad actually said. If it wasn't for your mother, I would have been broke a long time ago. Really? He actually confessed that to me. Yeah. Um, but he was, but he was the workhorse, and she was. But my mum's, yeah, she's like super accountant, bookkeeper yeah. kind of personality. So she did all that stuff anyway. Yeah. So for her, she was actually the brakes, and he was like the, the earning the money, and she was like, we have to put money here for this That's mortgage smart. and that mortgage yeah. and blah blah blah. Normally, it is, however, the other way around. Normally, yeah. it is the guy making all those kind of big, mm -hmm. uh, like big level financial decisions are, well, if you spend, okay, if you get this bag, honey, then it means we, we miss our mortgage payment this month, right? And we're out of a house. Exactly. So it's like th those How kind of- How like important is that bag? Mm -hmm. Well, at the end of the day, you know, I, as much as I can, I try to, to smash in and, and equate finance and romance, right? And I use terms like, you want a woman to be an asset, not a liability. Right. We've all been in relationships where, where the woman has been liability. a massive liability, mm -hmm. whether that's financially, emotionally, socially, and it's just like this is, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. We've also been in relationships, or at least seen relationships, where the woman is just such an asset. It sounds like your mother was a major asset and enabled your father to reach success. And I think that's what every man right. would want at the end of the day. It's like for you, you've been very open. You're like, yeah, my husband's not a millionaire, mm -hmm. but I'm helping him get there. I'm an asset, asset right. not a liability, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well, I'm giving him, I mean, what, I don't, it's not giving, okay? We, we do this stuff together. But yeah, my husband spent a long time being a bachelor. He was a bachelor until he was 48. Mm. And then come to find out you, you're allowed to date younger women. So there you go. So I get to have this legacy with him. I get to be a witness to his life. I'm going to be taking care of him in I old age. That. People act like if he was my age, that wouldn't be the situation. Mm, no, so. like you get old together, you take care yeah. of each other. <laughs> and we're also going to have children, and that's going to occupy his time. He looks very forward to being a father. But I understand yeah. that a lot of women tend to be a drain. But you know what I think? I think that women push their luck when they know that they can with a man, right? You should mm -hmm. have a healthy fear of your man. Like if you spend a lot of money behind his back, you should be like, 
oh, maybe that's not the move. I have seen grown women in their 50s get their credit cards taken away because they're spending money behind their man's back. That is so disrespectful. There is, I, I want for nothing to deceive my husband in that way is like yeah. disgusting, reprehensible. So stop doing it, I have ladies. a friend that is getting a divorce right now, oh shall God. remain nameless. I have a friend that's getting divorced because he found out that his wife was spending money on the credit card behind his back. Not once, not twice, yeah. three strikes, you're That's out. Not good. And it wasn't 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000. It's six figures of credit card debt that he was not aware of. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you wanna watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.